Hey YouTube, RP, welcome to my channel. Ever wonder how to get these helmets to scale to your particular sized head and fit perfectly? I'm gonna show you, it's really easy. Stick around. So an essential tool to right sizing helmets, um, 3D printed helmets, is to download a uh, scanning software to your phone. I use EM3D. This is a free software. It is phenomenal. And um, it scans any object that you can then export in a lot of different formats, STL being one of them. Um, even though the download is free, I believe you have to pay like $5 to export uh, STL files, but you get that feature for life. And it's just really simple. Uh, it's, it's intuitive and it's simple to use. It's a great software. As an example, this is a scan of my head. Um, it does not like uh, hair. It doesn't render that very nicely. So I put this uh, stocking over my head and it gives a really good uh, clean rendering and it's once this is done you simply just export this and upload it to your computer and you're ready to then put it into a uh, program to slice so once you have your stl file your scan um, that you can export as an stl file you need to upload it into a piece of software to then render the 3d prints um, onto that scan. And I use Mesh Mixer. This is a free download and it's uh, fairly intuitive to use. But you can see the scan, uh, the 3D scan of my head here. And um, at this point, all we need to do is now add a 3D print STL file. And you simply do that by hitting import. Uh, append and then we are going to find um, the stormtrooper helmet and we'll just say main helmet and this is now going to import this STL file um, and we can go ahead and place this on my head so to get this to turn we simply hit transform and we rotate uh, the file and then you can move it you can bring it up um, you can see exactly how this is going to fit we'll bring this forward a little bit and bring this down so you can see my eyes where that's going to align okay good so it looks like we have a helmet on that fits nicely we're going to tilt this a little more you can mess around with it um, position it you know so it looks like it's sitting in the right uh, in the right place now from here it's a little bit difficult to tell if this is going to fit your head you can see that there's a lot of space up in there but the trick is you want to be able to slip the helmet on and this is not a helmet that has any magnets in the back this is a, uh, a helmet that will be all in one piece. So the trick is, is having enough room at the base of the helmet to get your head into, but making sure there's not too much space in there. So this is at 100% scale as it was designed. So the easiest way to work through this is we want to be able to see what's going on inside the helmet. So what I like to do is I actually like to make a cut through this helmet. And you do that by going to, um, oop, I gotta go back here. Let me transform that one more time. Turn that over, bring this over here, and then hit accept. Now we can go ahead and do a plane cut and a plane cut is simply cutting along a specific plane. And all we want to do is get this somewhat cut down the middle 
and move this over a little bit. You know, you, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're essentially just going to remove half of the helmet. So once you do that, you then discard. You can keep both uh, pieces, but I'm in this case just going to discard um, part of that helmet. So now we come back up here to transform now that we have the helmet uh, cut in half and let's put it back on and position this so that uh, we can tell how this is going to fit. That looks about right. Probably bring this forward just a little bit more. So you can see in here perfectly now where your head fits inside this helmet. And there's a lot of room, um, but that's okay. We, we can change that. And uh, what we do is right now, this scaling of X1, Y1, Z1 is indicating that it's at 100%. And we want to change that. And we want to keep uniform scaling checked. So let's change that to 97%. Now here you can see that it has reduced some of those gaps. There's still room for my nose. In fact, um, this could come forward just a little bit. There's room up top here where I can put some padding and there's still room to take this off of my head um, when removing the helmet. So this, this is a great way to scale your your helmet so now i know that i need to be at 97 percent scale now i could just scale the helmet in mesh mixer and then export that file um, but then i've got yet another file of uh, this helmet and I, I really only want to keep one file and change that in my uh, cura slicer so since i have that here we're now going to move over to cura here we are in Ultimaker Cura, and this is my Elegoo Neptune 3 Max build plate. And we know now that based on the mesh mixer exercise we just went through, we know now that this helmet, which is at 100%, needs to be sized to 97. So you simply come here to your percent scaling and he, you want to select uniform scaling and we're just going to simply hit 97 percent that now lowers it down to 97 percent and uh, from here you simply adjust and position this to the appropriate um, uh, spot on the build plate put in the supports where needed now when i printed this helmet i did not have my elegu Neptune 3 Max. Um, I actually had uh, my CR-10S and you can see that this helmet does not fit on the CR-10S build plate. So I actually had to slice this helmet in half, print two halves, plastic weld it together, and let me show you what that looked like on the CR-10S. So here, here you can see the actual helmet printing on my CR-10S, and this is how it came out. The texture was great, it was smooth, clean, but I did have to plastic weld these two together. That's the nice thing about having a really large printer like the Elegoo. You won't have to go through this extra step. So there you have it. It works every time. You'll get a nice custom fit helmet. Whether you're doing a Stormtrooper helmet that's got a little bit more space inside, or whether you're printing an Iron Man helmet where you want that nice snug fit, this method will work 100% of the time. Let me show you what this uh, helmet looks like with the rest of the suit that I produced. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Reach out with any questions. Sure hope you enjoyed this video.